So now let's look at some specific examples. Let's say for example, we had four to the power x equals 140. Now the unknown in that equation is x. So how would we go about finding x? We can't do any of the operations that we've previously learned for rearranging equations, such as adding, minusing, multiplying and dividing. So we need something else in order to get the unknown x. Now whenever the unknown is a power, as in this example, the first thing that we're going to do is take logs of each side. So log to base 10 each side. Now when we take log to base 10 of the left hand side, we're going to get log to base 10 of 4 to the x. And when we take log to base 10 of the right hand side, we're going to get log to base 10 of 140. Now we know how to input log to base 10 of 140 into our calculators, that's just going to be a number. But what we need to be able to do is to simplify that left hand side so that we can actually find that value of x. Now we know from our third log law that log a to the n is the same as n log a. So if we compare this to the left hand side of our equation, we can use the law to simplify this. What we've actually got is x log to base 10 of 4. So all we've done is we've taken the power n down and put it in front of the log a. So we've taken the power x and we've put it in front of the log 10. And that equals log to base 10 of 140. Now we have something we can rearrange because log to base 10 of 4 is just a number and log to base 10 of 140 is just a number. So we can actually divide each side by log to base 10 of 4, remembering that it's just a number. And what we get is we get x equals log to base 10 of 140 divided by log to base 10 of 4, which equals 3.565. Now what I recommend you do, especially when you start doing these, is just check that your value of x is accurate. So what we're going to check in our calculators is 4 to the power of 3.565 because that was our original equation up here and when we run that through our calculators we do 4 to the power of 3.565 gives us 140.0 or 140.1 in this case but that would just be due to any rounding on this number here Let's do another one of those. Let's this time do 0.5 to the power x equals 75. Let's take logs of each side. So log to base 10 of each side gives us log to base 10 of 0.5x. We're going to simplify that in a second. And log to base 10 of 75. So we're going to apply our log law to the left hand side and applying our log law gives us x log to base 10 of 0 0.5 equals log to base 10 of 75. And then we can rearrange by dividing each side of that by log to base 10 of 0 0.5 recalling that that's just a number and that's just a number. So if we divide each side, we're going to get x equals log to base 10 of 75, which you can input into your calculators, divided by log to base 10 of 0 0.5, which you're also going to be able to input in your calculator, and that will give you your value of x. So log to base 10 of 75 divided by log to base 10 of 0 0.5 gives us minus... 6.229. Now if you're not sure if that's accurate, we can check because we can do 0 0.5 to the minus 6.229. And if we do that on our calculators, 0 0.5 to the power of minus 6.229. And that gives us 75. 
So let's have a look at another variant. Let's take 3.5 times 4.2x equals 720. And because the thing we're trying to find is a power, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take logs of each side. So log to base 10 each side. And I'm going to get log 3.5 times 4.2 to the x. So log of everything that I had on the left hand side equals log 720 or log of everything that I had on the right hand side. You notice here that I'm just writing log but we're assuming that it's log to base 10 because that's the only one that we can do on our calculators. But I'm going to need to apply two log laws in this case. The first log law that I'm going to apply is the one we've used already that says log a to the n is the same as n log a. And the second log law that I'm going to apply is the log law that says log a b is the same as log a plus log b. And I'm going to be applying both of these to that expression that's on the left hand side of our equation. So what I've got is log 3.5 times log 4.2 to the x. We're going to take this as a and we're going to take 4.2x as b. And we're going to apply the second of our log laws that says that log a times b is log a plus log b. So I'm going to get log a, which is log 3.5, plus log b, which is log of 4.2x. And that's going to equal log 720. The right hand side doesn't change. All I've done is apply the log law to the left hand side. Let's go for one more line of simplification and this time I'm going to apply the second log law that we used previously which tells us that we can bring that power down. Plus x log 4.2 equals log 720. Now what we have is a linear equation, an equation in the linear form because log 3.5 here is just a number log 720 is just a number and this here log 4.2 is also just a number so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to minus log of 3.5 from each side and I'm going to get x log 4.2 equals log 720 minus log 3.5 and then there's only actually one more step that I would need to do to get x on its own, and that's divide by log 4.2. When I divide by log of 4.2, I get x equals open brackets log of 720 minus log of 3.5, all divided by log. 4.2. Now if we run that through our calculators we will get our value of x from the original equation up here on the top line. So we've got log 720 minus log 3.5 equals divided by log 4.2 gives us 3.712 as our value for x. Now I recommend that you check this, so let's go back to the original equation here. And now in the original equation we're going to do 3.5 times 4.2 to the power of 3.712. And that gives me 720.4. The reason there's slight variation is because this answer on the very bottom line here for x has been slightly rounded. We could have done more decimal places and that would have brought us closer to the answer. I'm going to do one final example just to bring in the third of the log laws and this time I'm going to do 3.2x over 0 0.8 equals 1.52. First thing I'm going to do is take logs of each side. So log of 3.2 to the x over 0 0.8 equals log of 
I'm going to apply two log laws, and the two log laws I'm going to apply this time are log a to the n equals n log a. And this time I'm going to do log a over b equals log a, the numerator, minus log b, the denominator. Okay, so if we go back to our equation, I've got log 3.2 to the x, where 3.2 to the x is a. So I'm going to get log 3.2 to the x minus log 0 0.8. The reason being is that 0 0.8 is our denominator or our value for b, and that equals log of 1.52. Next, I'm going to apply this log law here in order to bring the power down. So x log of 3.2, because that's the same as log of 3.2 to the x using that log law, minus log 0 0.8 equals log of 1.52. Let's add log 0 0.8 to each side next. So we're going to add this expression here to each side and I get x log 3.2 equals log 1.52 plus log 0.8. Now the reason I added it this time is because in the equation here we've got minus log 0 0.8. If I want to drip that minus log 0 0.8 away from the left hand side I need to add log 0 0.8. Next step is to divide each side by log 3.2, giving me x equals, open brackets, log 1.52 plus log 0 0.8, all divided by log of 3.2. And now it's just a case of inputting those values into our calculators. So I've got log 1.52 plus log 0.8, all divided by log 3.2, gives me 0 0.168. And again, I recommend that you check that. So I'm going to do 3.2 to the power of 0.168, all divided by 0 0.8, which gives me 1.52 to two decimal places.